Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here. Uh, it's kind of time to go shopping for a new distro. I mean, I've been running uh, Kubuntu here for a while, and it runs decent. I mean, I'm happy with it, but one little thing just bugs the heck out of me. Um, that's the way Discover, which is their uh, their package manager, will kind of take over whenever I want to do an update. Uh, uh, it, it's really tough. I mean, if I just if I if I boot into my system and let it sit there for a while, then Discover will kind of give up. Um, so I can go ahead and drop Terminal and and you know do my updates and stuff. But it's just it's like a fight back and forth between me trying to do it manually and Discover wanting to do it automatically. And half the time, Discover doesn't really work that great anyhow. I'd rather do it manually for uh, updates. So uh, we're gonna go shop for a new distro. I just I want to see what's out there real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and open our browser. We are gonna go to Distro Watch, and uh, here we are on the Distro Watch page. Let me go ahead and make that a little bigger, and uh, you can kind of see all the the newest releases here that's come out. What we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and go over to Search. Let that finish loading. And you just go ahead and plug in what you're looking for. Uh, I want Linux. Um, go ahead and put all, just to not cut anything out. Far as country of origin, yeah, all's fine. Um, based on, I would like it to be Ubuntu LTS. That would be my preference. Um, Debian testing and Debian stable wouldn't be too bad though, so we'll check them as well. Uh, desktop environments, oof. Don't really know. Um, I like XFCE. Uh, LXQT's not too bad. Of course, I do love KDE, so we'll check KDE. Uh, Cinnamon, nah, I don't want to mess with Cinnamon. I think that's good enough. For, for desktop environments. Of course, it's going to be a x86 64 bit, so we'll check that. Uh, package manager, I'll just check all. I'm, I'm easy. And we'll keep that all. Check all here. Uh, local install would be good. I don't want net install. Multi languages, I'm not even going to bother checking that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, in it software, yeah, we'll check all just see what's out there and I want it to be active. Let's go ahead and submit this and you see we come up with a list here quite a large list um, quite a few quite a few uh, Linux distros fit my criteria So uh, let's see what do we got that looks interesting? Hmm hmm <laughs> hmm I've run Solid XK before. Um, I've looked at Makulu before. Batbox, that's I've run that. Voyager, Peppermint, I've run that. Linux Lite, most of these I have run already. KDE Neon, Linux Mint. Uh, MX is not bad. I think I already have an ISO of it downloaded though. If I wanted to go with it. Um, let's see what else we can find. Yeah. This is this is half of the issue with Linux. It's trying to figure out what you want. I think this is where a lot of people stall out because they see all this and they have no clue what they want to do. Um, it's just like they get overwhelmed. Huh. Let's look at Liquid Lamour. There's a screenshot. Nah. 
I don't know. Let's go to their homepage. Let's see what their homepage looks like. Go ahead and let my no script work here. So yeah, liquid lemur. Yeah, that's a cute little lemur right there. Huh. It's currently in an alpha. Um, I don't want to really mess with an alpha. I want something that's going to be more solid than an alpha. Uh, you in your test in your when you run a Linux distro, you start with an alpha and get as many of the bugs cleared out as you can. Then you move to your betas. Sometimes they'll have a couple different beta tests, um, and then they'll do a final release. Um, but yeah, that's an alpha. I don't want to mess with an alpha. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything new here. Let's go up and change our criteria. Uh, let's pull out Ubuntu. Let's say Arch. And uh, what else? Manjaro. That's a pretty good distro. Not seeing anything else. Let's let's look at it with uh, that criteria. Something that'll be rolling. And now see we get like our Manjaro proper, Netrunner. Yeah, now we're getting a lot of different things. Chakra, Parabola, Morpheus, based on Arch, Live Recovery Disk, Photo. Huh. Swag Arch. But yeah, you can see the 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 kind of the little conundrum we fall into when we're looking for a distro. It's just really hard to find something because you kind of know what you want, but you're just not really sure. Uh, let's go back to home page. See what some of the newer stuff is here. Of course, here's Manjira. It's based on Mandriva. Mandriva, I don't know much about. Most of these I don't really know much about. Um, and that makes me hesitant to try them. Um, this is Zubuntu based, which that's not too bad. Uh, latest build based on Zubuntu. What what makes it better or different than Zubuntu? Don't really see any reason to run it over Zubuntu. Raspbian, that's always fun, especially if you've got a Raspberry Pi. Don't really see. Uh, Let's go ahead, let's look at Ubuntu Studio. Scroll down to the U's, L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U. There's Ubuntu Studio, refresh. 1904, I want long-term support, 1804. Click on that. Ubuntu, UbuntuStudio.org. Click on that. Go ahead and let no script do its thing here. Ubuntu statement on 32-bit. Yeah, that was interesting too. Um, they were going to stop supporting 32-bit packages, which I wasn't real sure what they were meant by that. 1910 and 2004, so it wouldn't affect this. Let's see. Let's go to download. Um... Find our download. I like to do a torrent, 64 bit, 1804 torrent. I will go ahead and save that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and clear this out. And let's close our browser. Now we'll go ahead and go into here to downloads. Here's our torrent, right click. I'm gonna open that with transmission. I agree, open. And we should start getting our torrent download right now, as soon as we connect with uh, a few peers. So let's let that start. 21 hours, six hours. Yeah, we're starting to connect with some peers here through the torrent. Two hours, one hour. 
See, it's it's connecting with more peers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pause the video while this is downloading. And uh, once it's downloaded, we're going to put this in virtual box and take a look at it and kind of see if this is what we want to run or not. All right, we're coming down to the last few seconds here on our download. And uh, I like running the torrent downloads. Like I said, it just it's a, a little faster. Plus, I think it's more secure, believe it or not. Um, I know a lot of people download torrents for like uh, movies and stuff on the dark web, and those are not secure. Okay, you can see our torrent's complete. Normally, I will let this seed for a while, but since I'm doing a video, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to remove that and cancel this. Pop this open. Here's our file right here. So I am going to drag this over to the desktop. Move it there. Um, we don't really need our torrent anymore, so I'll go ahead and delete that. And now let's pop open VirtualBox. Let's take a look at this to make sure it's going to run. So we're going to open VirtualBox. Okay, we got our VirtualBox here. We're going to click New. Uh, we're just going to call this, uh, let's call it Studio. Just to make it simple, it's going to be Linux. It is Ubuntu 64, although you do see you have several different choices. Um, but this one, yeah, it's going to be uh, going to be Ubuntu 64. Next, let's give her uh, two gigs of RAM. Create a virtual hard disk. Yes, yes. Just I just kind of click through all this. Uh, let's give her. 40 gig, since Studio is a fairly large program, we'll give her 40 gig. Create. And now let's go into Settings. System Display. You always want to crank that to max, 128 meg. Storage. It's empty right now, so let's go and find this. Choose it. Home. Desktop. There we are. Open. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and fire this up. Hit start. And for view, I like to go scale. This way I can adjust this, make it bigger so we can see what's going on here. And yes, we do want English. Enter. Try it without installing. Enter. And this way you can see what a distro is going to look like uh, before you go to all the time and trouble of installing it. So it, it makes it real easy to kind of get a feel for it, see if it's going to be, you know, really what you want. Um, and a lot of people will even run distros in VirtualBox just for playing around with and stuff. And not even install them. Oh, that's, that's a popular option. But yeah, this will take a second to boot up. Let's go ahead and we'll let her boot. Make sure it's going to work. Okay, there it is. Something's happening. Yee, that don't look too good, does it? Huh. That doesn't look too good. Let's go ahead and shut this down. We're going to power off. Let's try this again. Let's go ahead and start. English. See if it'll boot the second time. If not, we may have a bad, uh, bad copy of our download, or we may need to add some features to VirtualBox to get it working. Let's see if the second time here is going to be the charm. Go ahead and quit torrent there. I don't think that'd have anything to do with it, but let's let's shut down what we can. Let's see if this is going to work any better second time around. If not, we may just go ahead and put this over on a USB stick. And uh, yeah, see, it's 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 coming up same as it was. There, there's an issue. We have an issue. 
and I am not sure what it is. And I honestly tell you the truth, I don't know enough about it to figure it out. Um, this is something I played with a little bit, but not that much. We're going to go ahead and shut that down. I am going to insert a USB stick, and it's going to pop up, but we're not going to open it. We are going to drop terminal. We are going to go ahead and CD to the desktop. List what we have there. And there's Ubuntu Studio. So we're going to sudo dd input file equals. Start typing and then hit tab. It'll autofill. Space output file equals. And I know it's going to be device sdb and then we're going to hit enter super secret password and now we're going to go ahead and let this uh, do its thing so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again something else I might want to, to add real quick I'm going ahead I, I slid this over here I'm saving a copy off to my main hard drive here, um, my external hard drive where I store things, which you see I have a lot of stuff stored here. But I have a file for ISOs. Um, I got 32 bit for my little netbooks. I have 64 bit. I got Debian, miscellaneous. There's Ubuntu. That's where I'm saving it off. You can see down here where it's saving off. Um, and then I even have like, there's one for React, which really I don't need that one. I could probably delete it. Um, there's a, a Hunix that I d downloaded. And that is basically an appliance already for um, VirtualBox. But yeah, go ahead and, and save a copy off. And that way you'll have it available. If you do like this, you'll have it available for future use or to put on other machines. So, uh, yeah, while this goes, goes ahead and, and saves off to the external hard drive, which there it's done, um, we can go ahead and there's my external hard drive. We can eject that. It's removing it. Give it just a second here. It's still finished writing some files to it. Never pull a never pull a drive until it says it's okay to pull. Um, you can corrupt data. Now we see it says it's safe. So I will go ahead and turn that off and unplug it. Simple as that. And uh, you can see we're still not done writing. It's still saying that it's Kubuntu on that. And you can see it's it's still going there. So uh, when this is done, we'll go ahead and get back into here. All right, it took several minutes to extract this file, um, but you can see it's it's quite a large file here. Um, there's your records in, records out. So now we can go ahead. I like to see. Now we're back into our main area there. Go ahead and get out of that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and boot in to this now, and let's. Uh, Come back on the other side here and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, here we are booted into Ubuntu Studio, um, which it didn't work in VirtualBox, but it's running fine off the USB stick. And uh, you can see XFCE desktop, they do have things at the top, which I'd probably move that to the bottom. Um, and, and they got the desktop set up where you see everything that's in here. You got your file system, your home, which we can go ahead and open that. You, you got your trash. Um, this 512 volume, that's my hard disk on this system. And then of course here's the, the USB we booted off of. Here's your menu. First thing I like to do on that, right click and uh, go to properties, behavior, switch categories by hovering. I just check all those. Um, appearance, I want to do icon and title, and just plain menu is good. I don't need an applications menu. So we'll back that down, close, 
And now when I click here, well, hang on. Uh, icon in. There we go. Now when I click here, you see everything that I want to get to is on the left. And the, then the categories move over to the right. That's the way I like it to look. It makes it easier to, to click and drop down, find what you want, and then move over to the right. Um, but you can see why this is such a large distro. This is just under audio production. They have all kinds of utilities, stuff like uh, Audacity that I'll run. A lot of stuff I've never even really seen or heard of. Graphic design. All kinds of stuff. Video production. I did have to install Simple Screen Recorder. It was not installed by default. But um, you do have OpenShot, Caden Live, which is my go-to now. Blender. Here's a lot of your accessories. Um, education, they always throw LibreOffice math in. It's it's they don't really add a lot for that. Um, games, they got a couple, which I don't really care about games. Internet, we already got our Firefox. And then there's transmission. That's already installed by default. Media playback, no VLC. That's something I'll have to install if I decide to run this distro. Office, um, we got some of the LibreOffice suite. Calibre, that's good. Or Caliber, however you pronounce that. That's good for reading ebooks. Um, if you download ebooks, uh, you can read those. There's, of course, PDFs. Here's your system stuff. Here's information on uh, Ubuntu Studio. We can open the control panel. Of course, this is where you would uh, adjust things. You can go ahead and, and change your appearance. Right now, they're doing Numix Blue. And they're running Ubuntu Studio Icon Set. Of course, here's where you do your fonts. Make different sizes here. But yeah, I mean, this is your basic control panel. You know, window management tweaks. Whatever you need. It's all right in here. If you needed additional drivers, you could click here. Um, I don't think I'll need them for this system. Now, if I was to put this on, uh, put this on one of my... Uh, uh, laptops I'm running an Nvidia card so I would probably need to run this and pull in some Nvidia drivers but uh, there's no additional drivers available for the system I'm running here Bluetooth management Bluetooth adapters power management everything's right there like I said it's your basic XFCE desktop um, you can right click desktop settings Go ahead and we'll look at some of the wallpaper. Let me open this up a little bigger. Let's see if I can catch that edge. Sometimes these edges are hard to catch. But yeah, we can go ahead and open that up. And you can change border size. Um, make it a little easier to catch the edges. You can see there's uh, quite a bit of different wallpaper here you can install. That one looks kind of cool. Icons, we can go ahead and get rid of home, file system, trash. I like to keep removable devices on there. Um, I don't care about network share. Disks and drives is about all I care about. And we'll leave others. But yeah, you can adjust it there. Um, your menu, you can adjust your menus here. That's kind of a cool one too. Let's look at that one. Yeah, that's kind of that's a neat looking wallpaper. But uh, yeah, you see now if you if you like what you see, if you want to install, then what you will do is right here, you will go ahead and click install, and this will walk you through the installer, and then you can put this on your system. Um, so it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, I may go ahead and run this. I may I may go ahead and just, just throw this on there. Um, I don't know if HTOP is installed. Control Alt T. Nope, HTOP's not installed. Sudo app. Install HTOP. And like most distros you boot into live, you don't really need a password. Now we can do HTOP.
and see I'm running a lot of different things so that's why it's 900 and, or yeah 930 meg so it's it's looking heavy um, I guarantee it would not be that heavy if you just did a live boot um, but right now we're running pretty much from the USB stick and from RAM but yeah if you like what you see you you click your install button here give it a second it'll boot right into install and then see it pops up English continue you just move through it very simple you know get all that we're gonna go ahead and quit the installer though um, I'm not gonna install it at this time so we've given it a look if you need to install you know how to do it and you can move into a new distro easy peasy so that's pretty much how you go about uh, finding a new distro uh, go on distro watch look around uh, download it uh, you can do direct download or you can do transmission which I prefer using transmission and then try looking at it in VirtualBox uh, most of the time VirtualBox will work I'm not sure what the deal was there but it, even if it doesn't go ahead and burn it over to a USB stick uh, boot into it take a look at it if you like what you see go ahead and install it um, it's free to do free to put on as many machines as you want uh, don't have to jump through anybody's hoops or pay anybody any money and that's the beauty of Linux that's why I love it uh, you find what you like and and use it it's it's free to free to use so uh, hope you found this video a little bit helpful and like I always say either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.